Empire Wars? What? He plays Empire Wars? How do you play against Team Empire Wars? How do you play Chinese on Empire Wars? Cannot afford anything. Well, that's the extra villagers, that's why they're acting down. Uh, I know how you play. I'm probably already too late. Yeah, he probably already got the market. <laughs> Yeah, he probably marked it up by now. <laughs> we'll go to the <laughs> Red Bull question <laughs> when the game stabilizes a little bit. Ooh. He didn't use market. Wait. I'm actually being Huang here, not him. <laughs> maybe this opening, maybe <laughs> even got the potential for Red Bull. Then will be good. Uh, and then what do we do in Castle Age? More market abuse, I guess. Bam. <laughs> oh yeah, you're, you're slow, you're slow. I beat him to it. Ooh, he actually got the army. We get enough wood. Ah. Drop the stable would be appreciated. I'm being the Huang here. I do want another stable. <laughs> uh, is he playing all in feudal or that's for siege workshop job? Who knows with this guy, man? <laughs> he even split nicely the scrum behind the wood line. <laughs> okay, this for siege workshop and monks. Okay, okay. That's more like it. And my god is a problematic spot. Oh, I have polar bears. This should be vulnerable at home. He will be used later. He will break this instantly. Like man, yeah. We'll need some micro in here. Bam. Oh, he even made a fancy one. No instant conversion. Oh, come on. Man. Bears are getting converted faster, I swear. Uh, I have no gold. Ah, come on. Uh, that's it from the gold income, I guess.
Okay, there is a scout there as well. He cannot micro everything, can he? Yes, and committed. Nah. Oh, he killed. A he killed everything. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Juan Grush here is even stronger. Nobody showed this to the GL to anybody. I'm gonna use this. And that was me with the market first. Yeah, the issue is obviously the goal spots are quite too awkward. Oh god, I I'm playing bad as well. It's my knight. That means it got armor. Uh, I better try to kill. I did not kill. He smartly positioned that one. No! <laughs> Stupid. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead and I had no chance. Uh, I think I overproduced villagers. And that first conversion when he got one knight was so critical as well. That blocked everything for me. Like that, that knight is demolishing the game, right? I had to trade bad and everything. Where do you even drop the castle? We don't have uh, a lot of villagers. You will think it's winnable. I wish I had at least few knights alive so I can drop a castle in the face, which I will still do. Yeah, that should be fine. Can you find this? I believe, I believe. He did convert a knight as well, one more at home. That could be problematic. Doesn't know about this, but he will soon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't. I deleted the wrong thing. I absolutely believe. Just that night, I hope he's going somewhere aggressive instead of being home. No, don't need you right now. Castle will happen. Oh, gold. It take gold. We like gold. This is on some wood line. This is on stone. Hey, he will find about this. I want vision. Right now he probably got some farms, right? 
So his economy could be decent now. Yeah, he's fought everything. He's good at scouting. That's it from villager production. Okay, okay, he's booming. He's booming like a madman. Uh, not like that. What else you're converting? Or just that? He's getting Mangonas home. If I get that castle there, <laughs> I would actually think it's maybe even winnable. They keep him busy on the side, maybe he will not notice this. Yeah, Chokunos don't think that gets to demolish villages. We got a lot of economy actually. More than me, that's for sure. Those are out of position. It's time to go. He will follow those. He will follow those with Magonels and Castle will go up. Now, if I don't start producing villagers, all the damage I'm doing is not enough. What did he get converted? Ooh. Oh, oh, that's my knight again. Oof, yikes. That hurts a lot. <laughs> that definitely hurts a lot. Uh, uh, come on, uh, uh, tonight is demolishing my ass. Enough is enough. <laughs> he's just booming. He, he has been in those situations before. He knows if he booms across the map, I'm just not killing enough villagers and I'm not producing any. Yeah, yeah, he won this game with that decision. Smart move. <laughs> <laughs> Triple TC. Did you ever see Huang with that many TCs? Uh, another two here. Uh, why am I even jumping to TC when I have villagers and still villagers on food? Ooh. No. Uh, GG. It's absolutely over. Been over for some time. <laughs> did we switch? Apparently we did. Uh, but it's it's nice, right? One gushing on the Emperor Wars. Mm, he doesn't build anything, right? Doesn't need farms, just need... He already got the mining camp, get the market. And make Siege Workshop in the face. I react with double stable, that was bad, obviously. He went full counter to that. Pycon plus monks. But I was surprised. Huang Rush is designed to work that way. If you don't expect it, you cannot stop it. 